Hello, good night. This is John Ruman, international business coach and consultant, fourth degree black belt and master of Taekwondo, and also the facilitator of the Men's Warrior Retreat. And tonight, I am focusing this entirely on you feeling powerful. So if you're watching this and the first time we've met, I am actually running a Men's Warrior Challenge in about a week and a half, which is focused on helping men to feel awesome among many things. We'll be doing a couple hours of self-defense and martial arts stuff. We'll also be doing uh, the Hakka. And if you're unfamiliar with the Hakka, it is what the Maori, the Indian tribe, do to make themselves feel ah, 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 ah. And they pound and they yell and they scream and they have facial tones and movements which make them feel awesome. And men in life are not allowed to feel powerful. And let me tell you, that's a disservice. It's a disservice to this world that they cannot honestly express themselves. I'm not saying they have to be aggressive. There is a differentiation between a grounded, powerful man and someone who is genuinely insecure yet has these energies and doesn't know what to do with them. So what I will be doing in the workshop is actually helping you to feel your inner power. So let me go through some of the things, the benefits of doing this. First of all, you will feel as you feel more powerful and energized in your body, you will feel confident. Why? Because if you feel, there's a very common term when people are not confident, they say they are powerless. So if you feel powerful, you're able to do more, achieve more. You're able to be laser focused. You're able to be that hunter. So I need you to find that inner hunter, that inner warrior within you. So this warrior challenge, warrior retreat, all these events are not made with the warrior as a joke, cute, cool name. It's meant to unlock and for you to feel a visceral reaction to who you really are expressing yourself. You are a warrior. I am a warrior and you are a warrior and you need to express yourself. The world needs you and your fullest, most amazing, powerful self. So confidence will naturally come when you are powerful, not power less. Next, you will begin as you feel and own this visceral awesomeness to hold your space. You will not be borrowing space. You will not be saying, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, uh You're like, this is my space. I'm here. You're welcome to walk around me, but this is my space. You'll walk down the road. People will part and they'll feel, hmm, they will naturally part ways. When you go somewhere, they'll look to you to lead. When you are in a room and when you enter, people will feel you. There's a danger to you when you're powerful, when you're a truly tapped in powerful man. And when you truly own that, You'll own the space. Some nice benefits are, yes, you will have a much easier time getting women. But your life is not about getting women. It's nice. But to feel your power and to know you literally can shape amazing things by knowing that and feeling that you're on a mission. So you owning your space is you feeling I'm here to do something. I'm not here just to own, to, to, to be here. I'm here to own this space, to be this space, to be present and powerful in my space. Next, it helps you grow into the leader that are that is you. And if you are not a leader now, as you begin to feel your power, and as long as you don't waste it, don't waste your power. So don't fully express it. And 
harness it and channel it. So part of the haka we'll be doing is building that up. Think of it as a fire that's going to well within you and you're going to feel it. It's going to feel if it's not channeled like a rage or a high sexual energy. But when you calm that, when you cover those beautiful flames that you've created, you will now feel centered and able to be focusing on things that you couldn't even fathom before. So the, ch the change that you want to do in the world is possible when you harness these two things. So you fuel the fire, which we'll be doing, and then channel that, everything shifts. So you can, and hopefully you will, create positive change. I got a message here, Tyrone. What's up, my brother, Tyrone? Thank you for checking this out, man. So you can create positive change. So in many instances, when people don't understand how to harness this, and they have very poor examples around them of men as examples, they channel it terribly. They do stupid things, immature things, things that everyone knows are, are it's not right. And in the moment they feel something, but it's gone. But if you can actually take this and forge iron in a future amazing version of the world you're a part of, that is the real possibility here. So please, when you take this class, it's not a class, when you participate in this activity and you feel it, and you're going to be talking, so part of this as well is there'll be 10 to 20, maybe 30 guys there who are going to talk with you. Hi, Curleen. And you're going to have conversation, not with alcohol, no alcohol, it's a dry party, but you're going to be talking about real things. We're going to talk about financial management, financial responsibility. It'll be an open dialogue. No one's telling anyone what to do, but we'll have an open dialogue amongst other powerful men. And they'll give their honest feedback. It's going to be awesome. So you'll take this energy and you'll harness it towards good things. Being a leader in your household, being a better person, managing the money. People look to you to manage the money. So if, if, if someone says to you um, things like, and you get defensive about managing the money, back off. Take a few deep breaths and view it as an opportunity, a duty, a responsibility for yourself to be the leader. People look to you to be the leader. You can choose to lead. You can choose to follow. But you deserve it within yourself. You owe yourself a service to lead. If we forget about the rest of the world that you can change, you can. But just the fact that... You within yourself, when you begin to harness this, <laughs> it's awesome. You're not going to want to go back. So don't be what I used to be. When I was growing up, I had not the best um, male representation in my life. I had to find it. And what this forced me to do was to find people who are great examples that I could really, really learn from, who were mature men. I was an adult boy, a highly insecure guy. Yeah, I was physically big. Sure, I was physically strong, but I was unbelievably insecure. And when you're insecure and you're still powerful, you come across cocky, arrogant, and you actually inside feel scared. So if you're watching this and you feel it, don't sweat it. You're one step away. When you begin to feel, I got this, and you feel to be confident, and you can take that power, and you can be around people who can support you and help build you up, you're right there. So don't worry where you are in your confidence world. You'll get there. Understand, if you're a little cocky, if you're a little arrogant now, you're one step away from actually becoming confident. But it's important that you understand that you must grow out of it. And a lot of the way to grow out of it is who you surround yourself with. So if you surround yourself by people or with people who are not people who are positive, supportive, who would encourage you to 
take full responsibility for yourself, to take charge, to be a leader. Hi, Margaret. Good evening to you, sunshine. And I would encourage you to surround yourself with these people. So take time to do that dramatic, dramatic change. So part of the reason the entire warrior thing was set up is so I could make new friends who were awesome men, just like me. And those who weren't there, because we all have times where we're fading, we're not as confident and powerful as normal, as we know we are within, I needed someone to talk to. So this is just as much for John as it is for you. But you owe it within yourself to do it. The guys who were there last time raved about how awesome it was. And, and I wish I could have a quote from one of them right now. It was super awesome to hear how much they just needed it. I know I needed it. So I'm so glad I wasn't the only guy who needed it. So thank you guys who came last time. And guys who are coming this next one, thank you as well. So let me hit the last one and then I'll close up. So last one, you become unstoppable. So when you feel powerful, it kind of naturally seems the case that you would feel unstoppable and become unstoppable. And what's so great about that is the challenges you're having now, you will no longer be as afraid of or as not taking the action as you are now. It's a really, really cool experience. So you'll begin to just create momentum where it didn't seem you had it before. So you create the support system with the group we talked about. You begin to create habits of building the power, like I talked about early in the video, and then calming it down. So you become this powerhouse that's focused, not a powerhouse that just wastes the energy. Stop wasting the energy, guys. Trust me, you know how you're doing it. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. Focus that energy. You are powerful. So let me tell you a little bit about the event. It is on the 19th, which is a Sunday. Starts 9 a.m. sharp not Trini time, 9 a.m. sharp. It'll be in, it ends at 2. It'll be at the Port of Spain Royal Gardens in one of those covered gazebos. There's four or five of them there. I'll be there. And when I find the spot that morning, I'll get there early to claim it for us. That'll be the spot we're at all day. <laughs> we're going to have a two-hour self-defense workshop. And it'll involve something called the default cover. We'll go over a couple of those. We're going to review the last class we had. We had about we had about an hour and a, hour and a half last time, so I'll kind of shorten it about 20 minutes. It'll be review. Those who are for the first time, it may be a little quick for them, but they can practice on their own. And then we'll also discuss wrist grabs and a couple other things. But so review, wrist grabs, default cover, and it'll take two hours. And then we'll do about a half hour of the haka, the grounding, this power area. So we're going to build up all this energy and you're going to feel amazing. And then we're going to calm it down so you're able to be focused. So for those of you who aren't focused and aren't able to focus now, that's what we're going to be doing next. And then we're going up. We're right off Chancellor because you know, if you know where the Royal Gardens are, they're literally just below Chancellor Hill there. So we're going to kind of walk up and go up Chancellor. It's, going to be, it's not going to all the way up. It's a one hour. Hey, how you doing, man? It's a one hour round trip. So however far we get walking, we turn around. Anyone else who is ahead of the walking crew who runs, just get your butt down there within an hour, all right? So we will have a sandwich when you get down for lunch. And <laughs> after that, when we return, we're going to have about an hour, hour and 15, hour and 20 minutes of the discussion of financial management, responsibility of finances as a man. And I actually, last night, got a speaker who will speak for 15 or 20 minutes for that as well. Uh, Roger Moore, if you don't know him from Cashflow Club, he'll be there. And it's kind of an open dialogue. So I'll give you feedback. Roger will, will apply, supply feedback of what he's learned as well. Hey, man, I'm doing well, Mr. Dixon. I'm doing well. And I want uh, I want to invite you. So men only. So Curleen, if you're still watching, I love and appreciate that you're watching. But you can't come. You can't invite men, though. And there will be no alcohol. So, guys, don't think this is this. It's a men hanging out with men thing. And by the way, Dwayne, check this out. I think you're absolutely going to love it. So rewatch the beginning of the live when I'm done. I'm just a couple minutes from finishing up. And then from there, so again, 9 to 2. 
I already told you what it's about, where it is, and the total investment. So this one is 275 to register. So this one's 275. If you can get another guy, it's 500 for two guys. So you can get it down to 250 per person, but you have to pay one time. So 275 if it's one of you, or hey, key van. So 275 one of you, or 500 for two. So if you got a buddy, bring them. And I do have to limit to about 30 people because of the location, but so far we still have room. So thank you so much. Key Ben, by the way, please watch the beginning of this one. You're absolutely going to love it. So any questions you have, let me know. If you want to sign up or get more details, go to, if you're on Instagram, the link of this on, on my bio has the link all about on the Warrior Retreat. You can find out all the details. And if you're on Facebook, just check out the event on my page and it has all the details there. So thank you so much. Have an incredible night. I look forward to seeing you at the Warrior Retreat. And guys, again, find ways such as what I talked about today, how you can build your internal power because the world needs you at your highest potential. So have an awesome night. And those who can make it next weekend, be there. You're absolutely going to love it. Take care.